the classes during the week. There was a, an interesting comparison that uh, oh, when we watch a movie, direct, director of the movie can decide a certain scene to be shown in a slow motion. I know some martial art or some like that. I know how it was pointing, like a drop of water from the river. And for some time, again, in the martial art or the preventive time, right? like they can like maybe even increase the speed of like that's some racing movie that you feel like oh that what you see is a adjusted speed, it's not the reality. So how when we're moving, we can decide a certain part of our coordination of our uh, lines to be speeded up for the effect of dynamic or be slowed down for the effect of like processing for a specific presentation of the details. So when we speed it up, it's a drive. When we slow it down, it's detail, it's some finesse of processing and, and even transition and uh, showing off with your skill and definition of what you want. So we'll learn a piece, it's not a big piece, but then I'll try to introduce a few ideas where we can speed up or slow down. And then I would like you to be your own director, to make your own decisions, which part you would like to speed up or slow down or keep a regular pace in anticipation of acceleration or keep a super slow pace in anticipation. So try to have a tools and then be your own uh, creator, your own director of how you want it to be fast, slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. The nation is not too difficult, so we we started with the three steps. Uh, two, three, and here we'll bring our arm out, going into what approach. One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll collect the legs to the right, maybe the sweat to that, and then we go in yes, our pelvis to the left, and three steps back. One, two. Three, we on the first step, we pivot a little bit to the left to continue the same line of movement and doing a uh, two pass of chasse, curving to the left, chasse, 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 and then we'll do crawl and turn in a close position. That's our beginning. Three step, turn. Go to the proper one, go to the proper two, and you're in the position, I tell you the left, moving back, 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 and pivoting, the like back diagonal, this will be a moment if you feel like you're stepping forward, facing the back diagonal, and curving to the left, chance, chance, chance. Here you will choose delay by yourself, will it be longer there or shorter, and then Cross and turn. Close one more time. Three step turn. One, two, three. Building your arms. Hold up, hold on. Hold up, hold on. Hold up, build up. Our pelvis with the left. Three step turn. One, two, three. Pivoting. And our here, so the gentle technique. Uh, step over your left and curving. Uh, to the left, and do chasse, 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 chasse. And here, again, if we need a little more forward, we will replace this leg like, slightly. It will be more in place. We can even do back cross, so that's optional. Just feel that you want to be efficient with this uh, uh, cross position and close. So here, I'm thinking that my right leg is my uh, axis, and I'm by the end of the turn, I'm pulling my left leg towards my right. Uh, right is where I'm staying, and the left leg is pulled in. Yes. And just a few more time, you can also help yourself by pressing your pelvis a little more forward. So as you're turning, this line becomes dominant, and if you're just pushing this up, it will become a Point of attraction uh, for the back leg to be pointed. Yeah? G, good? Okay, so in time, we can start with the pelvis just as a link with it. As a, 
link in the previous Two, three, arm and apart, both down, both up, both down, both up, still, still, still up. Back, back, back and turning, forward, side and side and play, and cross and turn. Yes, yes, no, 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 you shut this. Side, close, side, uh, arms through the circle, and by that circle, we go across the forward, and up, uh, using this diagonal, building our arms, then I tell we go back, back, pivoting, left, chasse, chasse, delay. Go to the cross, turn from beginning. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Just change it for the convenience of the right hand again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. And just for memorizing, now we'll be doing the counts will not be as relevant. To in, let's say in each of these key elements, I'll try to give you two options. What's the presenting slowness and detailing of how to present the drive and dynamic? And then, of course, there will be shades of how long or how quick you can go through this. Yeah? So, first, between a belt and moving up. We can definitely do think of a full count and so it would be a more time to compress, organize it, and then a little more chunky then. Yeah. The other option, if I want to a little more of a like a, a cascade of the movement, not but a cascade, then I will be waiting for the last half bit, not the full bit. On the last half, seven, eight, one, two, three. So there will be a little less energy on my closing because my one will not be so much power, but that will be the, the effect I would like to sell. So let's try the two options at first. One will be, for example, we have six, seven, because it's a full time, a full time, a full time and then one, two, three. So we have this that chunk, so then you like a piece of it. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, try again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Yeah. Let me see. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. So again, okay, you get it. And so this will be a yeah, yes, team, yes, yes, sorry. So have you seen everything before? So six, seven, eight, so stay or the other option, seven and like leaning, seven, eight, or one. So it would be less time down, less compression, but much faster entrance to the step. Because it will be fast entrance, the closing would be less than jacks. And it will wow, wow. Ready. First option with a full count and more accumulation of energy. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One more time. Five, two, 
you listening and it feels like all of you dreaming somewhere. Then when you hear A, oh, I think they are speaking to me. That's a that's a tricky thing. Try to visualize it like that. I know it. Like like escalate. You, 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 you kind of can anticipate the moment, the next stair coming up, and you can step on it. You're like, what? What? Is oh, no, I see. Okay. When I hear seven, be ready. Five, six, seven. So my seven is your like dropping yourself into this funnel. I go seven. And you go away, yeah, together with my son. Ready? Five, six, seven, one, two, three. That's the one more time. And I look at each of you, I would like to be able to visualize a force which holding you, like something on your side, so you seven, eight, like some restriction which you're waiting to break through. Yeah, five, six, seven, one, two, three. That's nice. So let's try other option. This would be less down, and it would be just up. So uh, when you prepare this happening, it would be a little lean before, so you don't put down absolutely vertical. But you already have a feeling of shaking your spine, and then you're rushing to go through the sapel to catch your falling weight. That would be a yeah, like a different approach from the first one. So let's try that. We, we're building up, and we feel that we initiate a tiny leaning this way, and we're almost falling. And then we can calculate that we, we have maybe one more millisecond, two more milliseconds before we'll lose control. That's exactly where you in your panel give you this urgency of the riskiness of late start. Yep. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. All right. So here it's maybe even more important to. Think of the sound I'm giving you as a or like a passing train or something which you need to like get and you need to jump into it as it's passing next to you. If you skip it, that's it, too late. So I try to visualize the sound of my count, like passing, in, taking you with it. And five, six, seven, one, two. See this? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. That's good. One more time. Ah. know me how strong you are, and this is just a little bit of freedom of the leg to re energize in this little roughness to it. Yeah, really. And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, one. That's very good. Uh, two options. Sometime in the class, you'll choose one or another. Here, we get into our work lunch. One, two, three. Let's choose a few options. One would be to get in more dark, so when you're landing, it will be focused down and spending just a little more time here waiting for, I don't know, let's say this anger or some viciousness to kind of come down and dissolve. And then we ready to come back to coffee. Yes, yeah. Or we go much faster through this down segment and we already think about the happiness and pride and then Festive mood, and we can be much longer here. Another thing is about your heart. Uh, related. So if you 
keep staying down so this resistance and this moment of i don't like testing the waters or like i know there can be a lot of imagery you can put like i know if you if you have a chance to we'll fight so the guys who going there they know the risk of their lives but they also know they will have to do a, a live vision so a moment before the whole show begins i'm certain some of them are in the in the stalls and they see this wood and maybe at one point somebody just like touching the the, the skin touching the touching the, the wool like saying like i'm sorry dude we'll go fight with you and one of us will be dead but the smoke this feeling of yeah you, you end someone's life so you, you this can be the the sorrow and the importance and, and the, the difficult choice inside you just the idea that a simple arm movement can be can have a texture meaning and the depth yeah or the whole Spain would be celebrating my fabulous uh, work today in the book fire. I'm anticipating it, so I just did it. And I'm all here from Moyen and proud and uh, happy with my work. Now, if we try one cool thing, like you're the one guiding the camera and you're the one choosing the speed. So the moment of bringing your arm up here, I'm choosing to highlight some finger work and the wrist work. Uh, releasing the slowness back to normal speed. So that's a, I, from my experience, it's a cool feeling to move and decide to show you more detail on certain part and then get back to the drive of the past. Yeah? So that's something. You can decide to slow and basically skip the top part. Yeah, uh, very slow. You can decide to go up all the way here. Yeah, and then you can decide to move your camera to the arm and decide to put your wrist into the focus on the camera and then remove them from my attention. Let's say after this one. You can again imagine you're the one with the camera, you're the cameraman. Will you do this? And the next frame you no, edit right the whole way. And the next thing you edit, you do the close-up of the foot. And then I think the next is this articulation. Yeah. Or, or I'm following the camera, the camera following the wrist and the fingers. I can do some work for my own energizing, but where your attention? Is your attention to be articulated and very expressive here? Or you give it a second priority because first is will be this uh, anger or passion through your feet. What will the audience, what you would like the audience to see when you edit in your movie? Yes, let's try. So first, down, and then we go into the state that's in dark. Ooh, like this emotion inside me, I I couldn't quite let them go. So I'm I'm keeping myself in this place of digesting some. Emotions. Let's try it here. One, then two, three, and yes. Two, up. One more thing. We turn your look and the arm goes back. Don't give it the pain of entering the and scoring the back space. Here, the arm will stay, and I would like you to uh, be. Yeah. Uh, can I see? Do this version. 
seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four. Digesting something is usually a hard thing to do. So if you walk like through your food, you presenting you less importance of whatever you're thinking. So ah, it's, it's already good. Yeah, so you could just put yourself a little lower and you have to shift weight without going up. So keeping this pressure between your weight and the ground, then all the same that you will be doing will look more substantial, more important. Yeah, so don't allow yourself to be so light. Let's get the option with the arms and we keeping the camera looking at our wrists. And then from here, we switch to the leg. Yeah. Wrist, slow motion. And when you go to the leg thing, double speed. Slow motion. Slow motion. And then, like, not exactly doubling, but we focusing the arms for both. Now, ever still on the wrists. And how do they stay uh, as the primary? Uh, as a priority. Okay. Let me see. I would like to see the option with the camera here and then to the Wait. And swing, wrists. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me. Very nice one more time. And swing and our wrists in your focus. And yeah. Uh, Try to calm down everything else when you want me to see this. So the moment when you get into your swing, whoop, I know that this is the main processing here. Everything else moving very subtle. Yeah? Let's do it again. One, two, three. That was good. This was enough. Slowness, but if we know that we're looking at the Spanish dance fragment, they have to be restored. So let's just all look at the mirror be like ears and the gin and gin, so gin and gin, 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 gin. When you will be doing it, be sure that you're giving your wrist, yes, that kind of thing. So let's just look at the mirror, see how we can bring them up. One is going, other one is chasing, and now we can roll them in and turn them out, and then again. So this in and out, good. I'll be getting a little more angle in your elbows. You could just there look slightly disproportionate. Here, wrists, and let's just see how we're we doing it. We continue a little bit with the rotation. So this gives our wrists additional dimension. And again, swing and the wrists in and articulated and processing, processing and ready. One, two, three. Too much time. Unless you decide to do 
totally different. We can focus on submonism. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's try the version where the focus stays on your wrist. And you still can do your leg work, but what I'm doing in this case, I'm keeping my chest a little bit more pumped. And then giving my uh, elbow and wrist work just a little um, <laughs> frontier kind of a little elevated business. So it's not hidden somewhere, but I'm keeping it right in front of you. So I want. Switching my attention to the left here with the upper part and keeping this attitude. Yeah, let's do it. Start with the wrist and then stay with the wrist. One, two, three, four wrist that can keep your focus. Your wrist, yeah, like that. That's good. Um, so let's see from here. We continue. We know that the arms will kind of separate a little bit, they will not be staying together. And when I'm placing, that's where my wrists are working and placing and being placing. So when you place arm in front, first you how much potential closing you can create. The arms work like this, the closing is, is tiny. But if I'm finding a little contraction here, then the room for the closing is great. So don't hesitate to think of another piece. Yeah, yes, I mean, yes. Stopping and then work that, uh, yeah. So a little, if you say pointing, flexing, a little more flexing, which will then give you work that, uh, yeah, that, that, yes. Good. Next, uh, the chicken is yeah, like okay, let's start. And there are so many options. So, like, so which one I've got you to do? Let's see. We will be doing up till to this work on. Take a moment to, to pick your option. In the beginning, we have two, either fully or syncopated. And then when we get here, we have plenty. Through the course of the last 10 minutes, which one resonates most with you? Be dark and on the floor, be festive and uh, then presenting the arm and staying with this, or presenting the arm and to get back down. In that, it's not too many choices because we can dig into extra, extra detail. So take a moment to make your decision and then present me with your version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now each student thinking for themselves. Yeah, you thinking too. Is ready to have a decision there. Raise your hand, go look at me. <laughs> okay, in the third of the beginning, we have only two choices. So, syncopated or full D? Which one do you like more? Syncopated, which like the one? Syncopated, same. Syncopated. So make a decision. Yeah. That one, the full D. Good. Full D. Yes. Take a minute. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. So that's it. One decision is made. So think about it. Leaning when I come in five, six, seven, you leaning and you go one, two, three, and the other one is taking place. And you move five, six, seven, one, two, three. I have a little more time to prepare you for. That's it. With the with the entrance of water pump. Getting up right away or going for the dark, deep down place. Which one do you like more? Going up to the fingers. Huh? The most or the most? Okay, so you want to, to show this to there. 
Good. So that when you will be doing it, there will be attention to down and then switch attention. Yeah? Is it what you meant? Got it. Darker. I didn't have much doubt about your selection. <laughs> and then after you go through the darkness, will you be staying with the wrist or wrist and then to the toes, to the heels? Stay there. So after this, you will be staying a little bit calm and your leg will be serving you, but they will be of less importance compared to your wrist board. Yeah, and proud attitude. Dark. Good. So dark or great. If dark is good, I like it. And then will you be staying with your wrist the whole time? Oh, yes, yes. So when they would be going so when they will be going down from here, you know, just work a little bit more your legs like you try to move your sternum up for your arms like a wine bottle opener. So if you think of your beautiful medallion, like this, then when you bring it, you want to elevate it a little bit through the arms. And that will be the attitude of your upper part, helping me to keep my attention on here with your response. Because if you will, uh, then it, it will look like you present to me something. Yeah? So, dark, good, and afterwards, and afterwards, you'll be like, wonderful, cool. So, you know what you're doing. That's it. You don't have to be defending your own choice. No? Okay, good. So three focus here or one to two. One. Yes, I'm all right. Yes. Same. Okay. Got it. So that's it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Genie, I know that too. You go on and forget about me. Yes. So for the appel, you would be full count or, or syncopated? Second, syncopated, got it. And when you're practicing your water forward. Down, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. So it was obviously attention to the upper part and look at you, I can say, oh, there is another option. Uh, your personal style, more about shaping. So I was offering the wrist or the legs, and you say like, but I want to do a little more about the shaping, which is absolutely a fair point. We all know our strength, strengths and strong suits. Ready. So it's only a little bit tricky for me to count the beginning, so... Um, uh, but, uh, that, that's it. So we uh, who do you think of version? That uh, okay, you do this. That's it. Now, now Jennifer, can you just just for a second? Yeah. And ready. So I don't have any doubts in the beginning. Ready and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, go one. one, 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 one. Yes, and again, this. You want to stay a little bit higher, so you're leaning like a, like a metronome. And then, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, continue the thing. Yes, Jason, for attention to the legs. You're traveling too much. Yeah, so you just keep the place. Anything with sliding can less impact. So, okay, good. This was good. You felt that you make a decision, you're keeping a particular focus. And that's how you the question. During the beginning, I think that the fact that the arms are staying with the uh, lower, you are helping you. It would be nice to have some elevation up when you go back and it's this to one percent of the preparation to the check. But they have to replace it a little bit. Okay.
carried away. Um, do you have a chance to hear what I'm saying or not? I'm trying to be pretty loud there. Uh, so motor poker and that's yeah. Um, think I don't think of a you get daydreaming and last moment you notice here now where a car driving or like a bicycle is uh, and you oh, there is an urgency to it and there is no Decoration, it's just your functionality huh? saving your butt from being hit. Yeah, ya -ta -ta, ya -ta -ta. Oh, yes, 
and then giving you know, three five seven. Let, let me just say one, two, three, four, and then we'll go five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Good. Very nice. One more time, please. Just for this, please I'll play music. The original misinterpretation of If you want to do it non stop all the quicks, we need to step start out on five, but five, six, and seven, and eight, and one. Five and six and seven and eight and five and six and seven and eight and six. Let's say we know we can really count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. My little bit decision kind of giving a sense of resistance of deliberate processing through this and going back. But obviously there are other options. Maybe the moment when you're hitting, you want to hit on the splash to, to secure a little more time for the high and, and dominating position. And then I got to accelerate back to the center. Yeah. Then I don't want to overwhelm you, but just for you to know that there are a bunch of options. So, can this be a splash almost to the top? <laughs> or can it be the intense beginning? Yeah, but the, I don't know, the resistance there. I don't know, the ropes we are tied with, like if we don't know how deep we are. And you're finding yourself, ooh, ooh, that's where my limitation started, and then I'm fighting through it. Or, yeah, right, no limitation on work. And then I'm just there celebrating my dominance, the freedom. Yeah? So, which will fun for you to like grab the heavy buckets of heavy and no objects, or ooh, to let your arms fly like the wings and which one for example? Right away. Wonderful. Heavy back. Heavy back. Freedom. Freedom. Got it. Resist. Beautiful. Fuck it. Good. Huh? Okay. Yes. Well, and then the work again. And, and wonderful. Yes. So you know your decisions here. The moment when you're closing, some of you go. Giving me like this, showing me the veins, and, and this is just some brushes that uh, massage I'm doing for myself. So don't, be, don't be scared of my whole activity. It's just a and, and some of you go, come out here when you do this. I think it's important to be just a little more aware of this for the bra thing. Our way arms are up, you're not hanging in between them. Uh, but you feel that the you still try if this is your sternum, you still try to give it a more angle position rather than being hanging at a vertical. You try to give it as as much of the vert horizontal <laughs> as possible, horizontal aspect that yeah, into it and. So, and then from here, we're doing a pel. So, pel, let's agree that it's a weak one. A pel can give us a pel can give us the same pretty much like just closing, and then here we'll be showing slope. Uh, but again, let's just do two options. So, here one will be a pel. Show how weak and dynamic I can be, expose it, or showing again, like, please don't be offended when I do some words because one seems like, oh, sophisticated, one seems primitive. Not at all. So the other one will be that you go deeper inside you and you want to re re relieve. Like visit some memory, yeah. Really, yeah. Like when you really, really, when you thinking or repeating some of your experience, yes, relieving this moment. So you want to remember again how like, painful was something, and then maybe you try to like dig this thing out of yourself. Ah, or like I don't. If you've seen the movie, the TV series about Michael Jordan, I don't know, maybe here or something, and they made a, a particular, I think it's a good series, and there was a bunch of examples of his career when 
he being provoked and he was able to channel this into the game and like and crush everyone so to get into the zone by using the let's say something for many of us can be like a destructive energy we get offended or we can be provoked you're like okay so in the court and he was just crushing the team like if there was some personal like huh? that they they do have that story but i think there was a like a team after 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 losing they never like shook hands yes and then like this guy was like put him forever like in the court and somebody else i think what they call mvp most valuable player in one of the seasons there was this guy who became mvp instead of michael jordan and then in the playoff he was like his goal was to like just humiliate this most valuable player and, and, and he did everything to like to score more and, uh, and what i'm saying that we can maybe get to the place of pain and anger to energize and give us some expressing yeah and again, i would say that this person young people who experience the pain in their life yeah they just when they refuse to before the nice tree and the second one is more kind of grown up when we do have something like this stick and when we allow this to come like why the analogy with the Jordan to bring it to the game so when this inner experience directed into our movement it will have a texture it will have a importance and meaning and articulation it will have much more layers than just power yeah no no not saying power is bad yeah not, not calling for any selection here and um, so we doing the version you decided so here you have resistance or flying and after you hide the goal all the way to the back showing this dynamic or you go all the way in and then unfolding like a rising up with, the, with this new light ready so i fell and your decision i'm not dancing so i'm not leaving one way or another and i fell Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess we're not going 
to the end of the routine today because uh, decisions are need to be made, need to be discussed, and need to be like clarified. Um, are you comfortable to do a solo presentation? Are you comfortable to do a solo presentation? <laughs> Who is comfortable to do so again? No one. That's a very good next time when you will be comfortable. So next next week, uh, next week we will be probably you know that you won't see me for quite a while. Next Saturday I will be in, in Texas for the Emerald, and the following two weeks I will be in Hawaii for vacation. Yes. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, we what are your dates there? May 6th, we want on the 5th, and we're staying for two weeks. Huh? Okay, okay. Maui, yes. We stay in another house, but we'll definitely see. Huh? One island, yes. We'll be waiting if we don't stay in each one here. Okay. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We'll have a chance to do it. Yes. Okay, I think. Oh, hello, Deborah. Yeah. I believe it's fair to finish here because there are a bunch of information. You experience some of the things, and when you will be working on your routines. I'm just saying, okay, today you're the partner we're coming and we we're playing uh, a movie director, a cameraman. What's where my camera is on the shoulder, on the chin, on the foot, on the whole body, like my <laughs> I was too, too optimistic that I will not just ask you to do your decision, but I will also ask you to do the same homework. And if we are the audience and you're the one showing your thing on the screen, how would you place it? Would you place it on your diagonal? Do you think this would be the favorable angle? Would you place yourself closer and then you would move away? Will you do it flat because it's most uh, Obvious traveling, would you do it from, from the deep to the front? Yeah, and then, like when you're doing this, do you think your favorable angle is from here, or you maybe you want to have your profile and an articulation of the muscles of your back? But just a little bit of this decisions to invite you to be your. Not only students that I you be waiting for information to be to be fed you, but you have enough. Now, what can I do on my own? Where's my input to to use the skills which I need? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let's take the break and we'll come back to you.